Hello, friends. Robert Bevan here, author of the Caverns and Creatures series of comedy, fantasy novels, and short stories. With me is Sam West. And today we're going to talk about the spell Power Word Heal. All right. Heal. I'm going to. Did I do it right? I'm going to put on. Ooh. You okay over there? Put on, my, put on my divination cap. Woo. Okay. I'm going to guess you don't like this spell. Now the spell's ass. <laughs> you did it. Yep. This is, uh, all right, I guess this is just your, your opinion of pretty much every, or almost every healing spell, but leveled up. But, okay, this one is particularly egregious because another ninth level healing spell exists it's called a mass heal that is just better than that in every possible way. All right, well, before we get into comparing the two, let's, uh, Tell me what the spell does. Okay. For a ninth level spell, you have to touch somebody. When you touch them, they get all their hit points back. All of them. However many they've lost, they get all of them back. If they're charmed, frightened, paralyzed, or stunned, they're no longer charmed, frightened, paralyzed, or stunned. If they're prone, they can use a reaction to get up. And then it has no effect on undeads and constructs. And that's the whole thing. That's all the text. That's everything the spell does. Sounds pretty good. It's... <laughs> You have a lot of problems uh, whenever you're casting power word heal, namely whenever it's at its best when someone's at zero. And if you're using this to get someone up from zero, uh, there's better things to do than that that cost you less and will be about as effective. Um, starting with mass heal, which is a ninth level spell that you can pick creatures within 60 feet of you. Um, and you can restore up to 700 hit points divided as you choose among them. And that's any number of creatures you'd like within 60 feet of you for 700. If you're healing a level 20 barbarian you're looking in the range of like 250 300 hit points tops so you can give ha oh, less than half of your pool of hit points of the mass heal to the barbarian have them be further away still go back to max hp and then have 400 hit points to give out to everyone else you want but what if the same actions frightened or charmed or paralyzed or whatever uh it it does not remove the charm paralysis or any of that things, correct? Yeah, yeah. That's probably not their issue. Probably not. Notably also, a lot of things like charms and effects like that will go away whenever a creature is dead or at zero. Um, not necessarily, but like there will be some conditions that end whenever a creature drops, making power word heal a little bit less useful. Um, if you do care about removing those conditions, there are better effects to reduce those conditions at a lower level, like greater restoration, lesser restoration, other effects. Um, you don't want to spend a ninth level spell slot removing a single condition. Uh-uh. You don't yeah. want to do that. That isn't where you want to be. Um, so it also giving hit points and removing the condition, that's not worth it. But just It's just not. There's better things to be doing. You could be casting, again, I don't, clerics are in the situation where they're really, really good throughout most of the game, even to like the seventh level, eighth level slots. They kind of get shafted at ninth level, which isn't the end of the world because they're still clerics. Um, but like, you can still, you would much rather be casting a whole bunch of other spells at ninth level than power word heal at ninth level. You would rather be casting your explosion-y, damage-y light spells. You would rather be doing uh, giant team buff spells. You'd rather be doing upcasted more or less anything other than just one person gets all their hit points back. Yeah, I mean, do your usual sermons better take out the guy that's causing all this damage. Uh, yeah. Like, if you're in a world where you're going into an ancient dragon that one-shots your bard, is it worth it to return the bard to full HP? No, because the bard's still going to get one shot. They're still going to take 180 damage at once. What's the point of putting them back to 180 if they're still going down, right? Well, exactly I was, I was thinking about it. What about the barbarian who's been going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the dragon? And, you know, he's taken five hits and it is, is dropped and uh yeah again you you, you already mentioned this with the power word you know, with the uh, mass heal but uh if it's just him and you happen to be right next to him and he's paralyzed then uh if you happen to be right next to the dragon that is right next <laughs> to the barbarian that has gotten paralyzed from the barbarian and you haven't then you have the one situation where you're like, ah, oh, great. I'm going to get him back from one HP or zero HP to his full hit points and have taken away all that thing's actions, ignoring any other context around me. Perfect. This is exactly what I want from my ninth level spells. 
Yes, your point is taken. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like I, I knew I, that going in. Yeah, that's true. Um, the other things like you can be doing as a cleric, you have things like anti magic field, earthquake, holy wa- aura. Even is I, I don't want to say holy aura is better than this, but it's it's moderate. It's like usable at least. A lot of spells outside of the PHP are gonna be where clerics get more of their upper tier power from. But like, I'm pretty sure you're okay upcasting just like a firestorm. Just doing like oh, it doesn't even have upcasting. Okay, maybe maybe don't upcast firestorm. Wow, clerics really are kind of screwed when it comes to upper level casting. Just summon a unicorn. Use Conjure Celestial for that. That's better, at least. It's way better, in fact, because the unicorn can do all of the healing you'd want for you, and then you can still take regular actions with the unicorn running around doing all your healing nonsense. It's just going to be better than Power Word Heal. It, I wish that there were... I wish that the healing spells were more interesting than this. If this took a bonus action, I'd be a little bit more about it. If this had a range above touch... If this was like a 120 foot range, I'd be like, okay, I get why that exists. Yeah. Having a, this is, Power Word Heal is the cure wounds of ninth level spell slots. It's a spell that you really should never want to take because if you have to take it, God, is it disappointing. And you have things at the same tier that are just better than it in every conceivable way. Um, there are just, if you're going against something that you would need to like, if you are against someone that is stunned, unconscious, and at zero, this is a way to get them up and back to normal. Wish does that too. Just a thought. And Wish does a billion other things. So maybe that's not where you want to be. If Power Word Heal like did other things, if you could, if, if they stapled Mass Heal and Power Word Heal together, I'm still never casting the Power Word Heal half of it, but at least it would be an option. I don't know. I can't really find ways to redeem this without it just being another spell that already exists. And that's not a good sign for a ninth level spell. Yeah, and like you said, uh, other spells are even better. Yeah, and by a lot. Like, not close. Ooh. All right. Uh, are we done? You got a score for us? This is a one. This is a one. I... I'm going to put on my generous pants and give it a two. Because I, I think there are going to be an occasional circumstance where you'll, you'll be glad you had it. But uh, not, not, a, not frequently enough to where you'd ever want to take it, though. I th- see, I would agree with you if Mass Heal didn't exist, though, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. Like, I want to give this a two, because, like, okay, sure, it can be a huge quantity of hit points, but it's, if it is ever more than 700, I will be baffled. If it's ever more than 300, I'll be like, really? Someone had more than 300 HP just chilling at level 20? Wild. Well, maybe, yeah. all right, what, all right here, here's one. Would it work on uh, somebody who was... Uh... What's the, what's the spell that lets you turn into like any massive, ridiculous creature? True polymorph? Sure. Shape shift or shape change also does it. Okay, whatever. But yeah, you're, you're, your best buddy there is a giant dragon. And he's, he's been taking a bunch of hits. And uh, he's down to 12 of his 1,200 hit points. I don't even think like ancient dragons have that many that much HP. I don't think. I know I didn't roll the dice. I, uh, sure. I'm so you a, for this hypothetical example. Okay, let's go to ridiculous hypothetical example. Let's say your buddy's an ancient red dragon, CR twenty four, something that's out of range of even the ninth level spells. That's still only five hundred and fifty HP. You're still better off casting mass heal. No, no, my 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 <laughs> ridiculous uh, example was something that is above, like considerably above. 700 points i don't i i don't know what it would exist that would do that but sure maybe all right there you go that's all okay listen the god of evil god of dragons team at herself only has 615 hit points so i don't know what to tell you like her mother (laughs) team at the mom is who we're talking about that's who you need to be casting your ninth level power word (laughs) heal on for it to be worth it okay we figured it out thank you bob thank you for helping us figure that out (laughs) <laughs> all right well that was our word heal <laughs> thank you sam for your valuable insight and thank you everyone for listening and watching we'll see you next time bye-bye thank you for watching if you found this helpful informative or entertaining i'd really appreciate it if you hit the like button below you needn't smash it a gentle tap will suffice if you want to see more videos like this subscribe to the channel And make sure you check out the links in the description where you'll find my Caverns and Creatures series of comedy fantasy novels 
Sam's full review of the spell, and other fun things.